Hey guys, welcome to my first time ever changing oil in a CR125. So here is my shifter. We're gonna go ahead and give it a whirl. So to keep it simple, I'm just gonna walk you through the important things. First off, you've got your oil fill cap. You've got oil level, little screw. I believe that's here. And we've got the drain plug down here and all that filth. Yeah, that's it right there. And that's all that should really matter. A um, little bit of background info on this one. Just got this cart, um, only taking it out once. And one of the things I noticed, which let me caveat it with, I'm not a very good thorough inspector when I'm buying something. I get excited and I go for it. So I didn't notice that the clutch isn't releasing all the way, I guess, or it's not disengaging, engaging, I don't know. Depends on how you look at it, right? Bottom line is when I push the clutch in, the wheels are still grabbing. So here, let me demonstrate. So she is in gear right now, doesn't want to turn. Pop the clutch all the way in, still doesn't want to turn. So, like that's me forcing it, right? So, I will say my father-in-law is a manual transmission mechanic, and just in general, any time that I've got any type of transmission problem, the first thing he asked me is, what's the transmission fluid look like? And what's the transmission level looking like? So first off, before I even try and troubleshoot clutch cables or anything like that, I wanna check my fluid. And I will cheat and tell you, I've already got this little guy off of here. By the way, you can use a 10 millimeter and not stress so much. So get that little guy out of there. And that's your oil level. Problem I have is I can't see anything. I tried shining a flashlight in there and it's like, man, I can't see where the oil's at. So with that, I decided screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and change it because guys change the oil in these things all the time, like every couple of races. So let's go ahead and just do it up. This is the poor man's impact wrench. There she goes. There she goes. Ooh, and she is nasty. Okay, I'm really glad I'm changing this. With this frequently, as everyone says, it gets changed. It should not be black. Probably a good thing to mention too, I cleaned out this um, pan because I wanted to be able to see if there's any metal or anything weird in there. I guess it's not like super dark. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see if this will come open. I guess I've still got the fill one out, so it should have some air coming in. Or the level one, I guess, not the fill. This is the fill. So all of her holes are open. Well, I don't see any chunks. I see some metallic-y looking swirls in it, but I think that's probably normal. If I had something to keep this here, I'd just let it drain for like 20 minutes or until it just completely stops. Right now it's just a little drip. I don't want to get all that nasty crap out of there. All right, she's just dripping now. I'll give her a few more minutes. All right, that's probably good enough. We're down to a slow drip. Wipe the plug off a little bit. I'm not gonna snug it as much as the, it was already on there. So let's look at some oil. All right, so it's really not too exciting. It's kind of cloudy and milky. I mean, it is in a black pan, but. I don't know, I feel like it could be worse and it could probably be a lot cleaner. No big chunks though. It's 
definitely worth changing it though. Um, also the oil capacity is 650 cubic centimeters. I think that's the same as, um, you know, 0.65 liters. So, I don't know, that's probably pretty close. A liter is close to a quart. That's probably more than half a quart, I would think. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fill up, um, fill her back up and go from there. Don't let me forget, I'm unplugging my coil. I'll stare at this thing for weeks trying to remember what I did. Why isn't it unplugging? Watch me break my cart. There it goes. Oh, this is one of those weird ones. Great. All right, let's see if that gives me enough room. There we go. All right, the plan is just to pour oil into it until oil comes out of the little um, level indicator. So by the way, I'm running Rotella T um, 15W40. I've read a bunch on the forums that a lot of people are really happy with it. Um, honestly, it was available and people said you can run it, so I bought it. Um, you know, we'll go from there. Maybe order some stuff online, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. Oh, there she goes. And I do have a towel on the floor this time because, you know, probably should. Now I just got to find my little plug. Here it is. I'm actually going to let it drain for a minute. So I probably don't want it overfilled either. Grab the drain pan. There we go. Very tiny little stream. Just that last little bit I poured in is enough to make it sit there and do this for a while. So note to self, pour slowly because now I'm just pouring fresh oil into the dirty. but this can't be more than like, I don't know, a third of a cup or so that I'd overfilled. Looks like it's starting to slow down now. All right, I think we're getting closer. Still slowly running down. All right, let's plug the hole. All right, well, we got the oil changed. I'm gonna just kind of play with the clutch a little bit, see if it helps at all. I highly doubt it will with it just being, you know, not running or anything. Um, it's like about nine o'clock at night. I got a clock, there it is in the very corner. Went out there. Um, which means that I cannot start this sucker right now. I'll have to wait till tomorrow. And 
I'm planning on just kind of playing with the gas and the brake and the clutch um, and just seeing if it loosens up doing that. Um, you know, the, the oil was pretty dirty. Not sure if that would actually really make this condition happen, but it's a good first thing to check. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, she's still pretty locked up right now. Okay, so that's first. Yeah, it doesn't want to do much. Okay, there's neutral. probably gonna be about it for tonight um yeah like i said tomorrow i'll start it up and kind of screw with it and see if that helps so till then see ya